Which of the following is true regarding seat belts and child restraints in vehicles? A. You should never place an infant or small child in the front seat of a vehicle with airbags. B. An airbag can be dangerous to an infant or small child, even in a low-speed collision. C. You should always make sure all your passengers are using a seat belt or child restraint. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Before you drive, always fasten your seat belt and make sure all your passengers are using seat belts or child restraints. Studies have shown that if you use seat belts, your chances of being hurt or killed in a traffic crash are greatly reduced. Children age 12 and under should always ride properly restrained in a rear seat. Never put a rear-facing infant restraint in the front seat of a vehicle with a front passenger airbag. Your first response to reduced visibility should be A. Turning on your headlights. B. Reducing your speed. C. Turning on your windshield wipers. D. Looking for road edge markings to guide you. B. Reducing your speed. Reducing your speed should be your first response to decreased visibility and dangerous road conditions. Which of the following best ensures your safety and the safety of those around you when you are backing your vehicle? A. Honk your horn right before shifting into reverse. B. Check behind the vehicle before you get into the driver's seat. C. Check your rearview mirrors to see what is behind you. D. Turn up the car radio before backing up to get the attention of anyone who may be around you. B. Check behind the vehicle before you get into the driver's seat. Backing requires extra caution because it is difficult for drivers to see behind their vehicles. Before entering a vehicle to back up, walk to the back of the vehicle to check for children and small objects. When preparing to turn left, drivers should A. Slow down gradually while checking their rearview mirror. B. Move into the left lane. C. Watch for oncoming vehicles and pedestrians. D. All of the above. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Drivers may not pass from either side of a fill in the blank centerline. A. Combination solid and broken yellow. B. Single broken yellow. C. Double solid yellow. D. Single broken white. C. Double solid yellow. A double solid yellow line down the center of a two-way road means that it is prohibited for traffic from either direction to cross the center to pass. You are approaching a railroad crossing that has no visible gates or flashing lights, but has a standard crossbuck. You should A. Approach all tracks with extreme caution and cross only when you know that there is no train coming. B. Turn your radio down to hear if there may be an approaching train. C. Only continue once cleared to do so by a flagger, if applicable. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must approach all railroad crossings with extreme caution and cross only when you know that no train is coming from either direction. If there is a flagger at a crossing, you must obey all of their instructions. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is to A. Get out of the car and go for help. B. Lay down in your car and go to sleep. C. Walk into the road and get the attention of other drivers. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. The best way to deal with tailgaters is to a. Speed up to increase the distance between you and the tailgater. 
B. Slam on your brakes to get the other driver to back off. C. Change lanes or gradually slow down to encourage them to pass. D. Ignore them. C. Change lanes or gradually slow down to encourage them to pass. Check the traffic behind you several times a minute to know if another driver is tailgating, approaching too fast, or trying to pass. If another car is following you too closely, slow down and let it pass. Most rear-end collisions are caused by vehicles following too closely. You are coming to an intersection with a flashing yellow light. You should a. Stop and wait for the light to change. b. Make a U-turn because the intersection is closed. c. Drive carefully through the intersection. d. Prepare to stop, the light is about to turn red. c. Drive carefully through the intersection. A flashing yellow light means that you should proceed through the intersection slowly and with caution. Scan your eyes across traffic in both directions. You may cross solid yellow lines? A. To pass traffic moving in the same direction. B. During daylight hours only. C. At any time. D. When making turns. D. When making turns. As a general rule, broken traffic lines may be crossed but solid lines may not. Solid yellow lines may be crossed only when the driver is making a turn. This road sign means? A. Keep right. B. Keep left. C. Pass with caution. D. No passing. A. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road splits into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right. This road sign means A. Bicycle crossing. B. Stop only if other cars are approaching. C. Bicycle store. D. Soft shoulders. A. Bicycle crossing. This sign, with the arrow below, indicates the location of a bicycle crossing, path. Drive with caution around this sign because bicycles likely regularly cross or ride beside traffic in the area. When passing other vehicles. A. Check your mirrors and blind spots. B. Honk your horn at least three times. C. Re-enter your lane within 10 feet of the past vehicle. D. There is no need to signal. A. Check your mirrors and blind spots. Before passing another vehicle, check your mirrors and blind spots. Before changing lanes, activate the appropriate turn signal. Re-enter the lane when you can see the front of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. When you want to make a right turn, your car must be A. Near the center of the street. B. Close to the left side of the street. C. Close to the right side of the street. D. Past the center of the intersection when you begin to turn. C. Close to the right side of the street. As you prepare to make a right turn, you should get as far to the right side of the road as possible. Do not cut across lanes of traffic to perform any turn. When driving under icy or snowy conditions, which driving technique will help drivers avoid crashes? A. Add extra weight to their vehicles to improve traction. B. Get off the highways as quickly as possible. C. Engage the four-wheel drive on their vehicles. D. Reduce their speed and increase their following distance. D. Reduce their speed and increase their following distance. Reduce your speed when roads are snow-covered or icy. Doing this and increasing your following distance are the most important techniques for avoiding crashes under snowy or icy conditions.
It is important to be alert to motorcycles because A. They are more difficult to see than cars. B. They rarely use their headlights. C. Motorcyclists are less skilled drivers than other motorists. D. All of the above. A. They are more difficult to see than cars. Motorcycles are smaller and harder to see than cars. Because of their size, they are easily hidden in a car's blind spot. It may be difficult to judge your distance to a motorcycle and difficult to tell how fast a motorcycle is moving, so always be alert and extra cautious when near a motorcyclist. When should you drive in a lane with a lane use control light showing a red X? A. If there is no visible oncoming traffic. B. If you are passing the car in front of you. C. Never. D. Between sunset and sunrise. C. Never. Lane use control signals are used when the direction of the flow of traffic in a specific lane changes throughout the day. They are used to show which lanes of traffic are open and closed, as well as to show if toll booths are open or closed. Never drive in a lane marked with a red X. This road sign means? A. The left lane is reserved for vehicles with a specific number of occupants. B. Specific turning movements are allowed from specific lanes. C. Do not enter. D. Drivers in both lanes are responsible for merging smoothly. A. The left lane is reserved for vehicles with a specific number of occupants. This sign marks a high occupancy vehicle HOV lane. HOV lanes are reserved for use by buses and vehicles with a driver and one or more passengers, as indicated on the sign. When driving in bad weather, drivers should a. Increase their speed to reach their final destination more quickly. B. Decrease their following distance. C. Increase their following distance. D. None of the above. C. Increase their following distance. When driving on wet roads, drivers should increase their following distance. This sign means A. Steep downgrade. B. Crossroad ahead. C. No right turn. D. Narrow bridge. You should signal to turn. Fill in the blank. Before beginning the turn. A. 10 feet. B. 50 feet. C. 100 feet. D. 200 feet. C. 100 feet. When you wish to change lanes or make a turn, signal with an approved signal device to inform other motorists of your intention. Signals are to be activated at least 100 feet before you make the turn. Continue signaling until you have completed the turn or lane change. You must stop at a railroad crossing when? A. Directed to do so by a flagger. B. It is controlled by a stop sign. C. Flashing red signals and gates are present and operating. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must stop at a railroad crossing when directed to do so by a flagger or stop sign. Stop when flashing red signals and gates are present and operating. You may cross double solid yellow lines. A. To pass a slow-moving truck. B. To turn into a driveway. C. To pass another car. D. Under no conditions. B. To turn into a driveway. Double solid lines indicate that you may not pass or change lanes. You cannot cross the lines unless it is to turn left to enter or exit a highway to turn into or from a driveway, or to make a U-turn, where permitted. As a pedestrian, you should A. 
Always insist on the right of way over a vehicle when using a crosswalk. B. Never enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. C. Enter a crosswalk at any time because it is the vehicle driver's responsibility to stop. D. Use crosswalks only if they are convenient. B. Never enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. Pedestrians should not enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. Though pedestrians have the right of way in crosswalks, a vehicle approaching from a close distance may not have the time to stop before entering the crosswalk. When approaching a steady green traffic light, drivers should a. Continue driving, unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. b. Stop if a police officer is nearby. c. Treat the intersection like a four-way stop. d. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. a. Continue driving, unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. When approaching an intersection with a steady green traffic light, yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk and vehicles still in the intersection. You may continue driving, but should approach the intersection at a speed that will allow you to slow down and stop if the light changes before you get there. You may not park within fill in the blank of a railroad crossing. A. 15 feet. B. 25 feet. C. 40 feet. D. 50 feet. D. 50 feet. Drivers may not park within 50 feet of a railroad crossing. Park where drivers can clearly see your vehicle from both directions. What is the first thing you should adjust, if needed, when you get into a car to drive? A. Your seat belt. B. The steering wheel. C. Your rearview mirror. D. Your seat. D. Your seat. When preparing to drive, you should first adjust your seat to ensure that you are in a comfortable position and can see the road clearly. Adjust your mirrors and steering wheel to be effective when your seat is fully adjusted. This sign means A. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. C. Pedestrians must not cross here. D. Be alert for construction workers on the road. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. This sign indicates the presence of a pedestrian crossing. Drivers should be cautious when driving where pedestrians may be present. This sign means A. Low clearance. B. Fines double in a work zone. C. No left turn. D. Do not block intersection. A. Low clearance. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that they are approaching an area with low clearance. When approaching a school bus stopped with its stop arm extended, drivers should A. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. B. Honk their horn before passing the bus on its left. C. Continue driving when they think most kids are probably done exiting the bus. D. Pass the bus before its door opens. A. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. When approaching a stopped school bus that is using its stop signal, a driver is required to come to a complete stop. They should not proceed until the stop arm is withdrawn. This road sign means A. A steep grade is ahead. B. You must turn left ahead. C. Do not enter. D. A four-way intersection is ahead. D. A four-way intersection is ahead.
This signs warns that a four-way intersection is ahead. Drivers who have consumed alcohol before getting behind the wheel, a, are always aware of the risks they are taking, b, do not have sufficient control over their bodies and minds or the vehicles being driven, c, are better drivers because they are more careful than sober drivers, d, have quicker reaction times, b, do not have sufficient control over their bodies and minds or the vehicles being driven. Alcohol is a depressant that negatively affects judgment, vision, concentration, understanding of reality, and reaction time. It is never safe to consume alcohol in any amount before getting behind the wheel of a car. When approaching a flashing red traffic light, drivers should a. Drive through the intersection if there is no crossing traffic. B. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. C. Stop if a police officer is nearby. D. Treat the light like a stop sign. D. Treat the light like a stop sign. Flashing red lights are used at dangerous intersections. Treat them like stop signs. Before switching on the ignition, you should a. Be sure only backseat passengers have buckled their seat belts. B. Be sure only adult passengers have buckled their seat belts. C. Be sure only child passengers have buckled their seat belts. D. Be sure all of the vehicle's occupants have buckled their seat belts. D. Be sure all of the vehicle's occupants have buckled their seat belts. Develop a routine for entering and leaving your car. Before switching on the ignition, buckle your safety belt and see that all passengers do likewise. What should you do when you are going to enter a roadway from a private road? A. Blow your horn to warn cars you are entering the roadway. B. Stop with part of your car on the roadway to alert other drivers. C. Drive out fast to merge smoothly with the traffic. D. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and roadway traffic. D. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and roadway traffic. When entering a roadway from a driveway or private road, you must yield the right of way to pedestrians and traffic on the roadway. You need to use extra caution when driving near a pedestrian using a white cane because a. He or she is deaf. b. He or she is a police officer. c. He or she is blind. d. He or she has poor balance. c. He or she is blind. When driving near a blind pedestrian who is carrying a white cane or walking with a guide dog, you must slow down, yield the right of way, and then proceed with caution. Be prepared to stop your vehicle in order to prevent injury or danger to the pedestrian. What does a single dashed yellow line separating traffic mean? A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. B. Both lanes travel in the same direction. C. Drivers may not pass. D. Drivers may pass, even if it could be dangerous. A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. Yellow lines separate traffic moving in opposite directions. A single dashed yellow line in the center of a road indicates that vehicles traveling in both directions are permitted to pass. Drivers may only begin a pass if they will not interfere with any oncoming traffic. This sign means A. All traffic must turn. B. Turn right at the intersection. C. Parking area ahead. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic. This sign warns of the presence of a crossroad ahead.
After stopping for a school bus that is unloading children. A. Do not proceed until the children wave to you. B. Watch for children walking along the side of the road. C. Accelerate quickly. D. Turn on your emergency flashers. B. Watch for children walking along the side of the road. After stopping for a school bus that has its stop arm extended and its lights flashing, watch for children walking along the side of the road. You should always drive with caution when driving near children. This road sign means A. Do not pass. B. Do not enter. C. No turn on red. D. Keep right. D. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road will split into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right.